Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Queen's Wish, and we are going back into this. They better be gone. Okay, so there were four of them. We got rid of. Oops, did they come back? Oh, I hope not. I don't want to have to redo them. They didn't say anything about a dungeon, but how do you get them out? The, well, hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And I have a feeling that's what happened. Um, now it's bleeding. Okay, that's fine. There we go. All right. Um, we are not going out to you. No, we are not. You are coming to us. I learned my lesson that way. Yes, I did. Um, Make all you want. I don't care. Uh, let's get you. Can you see? No, well, you can see this one at least. Um, can you see? No, we can't. Well, let's get rid of this one then at least. Um, You're a little bit closer to us now, thank you. All right. There's another one, okay. Um, you can do a stunning blow to this one. And, okay. Do fire on these. All right, that'll work. This is me. All right, I know you're putting weakness on us, that's fine. bottom, aren't you? Mm. Need to get this damn thing out of the way. Your blows have knocked loose a bit of your foe. It begins to move. Oh, that's what's happening. Okay. Alright, here comes the other one. Oh, this is the one that brings you out. Damn it. Yep, okay, so. You need to heal yourself. Let's get you back here. Do you still have some health left on, or some energy? Can you go up here and do... Oh, you used up all your... Hmm, doing that. Really. Okay, whatever. Um, bleeding. Okay. 
All right, you. Do fire on their asses. Mm. All right, you keep getting dragged back out there, don't you, poor guy? Or poor girl? I'm sorry. I have to change you because you just keep looking. All right. We need to stun. Can we stun you? Slowed. Okay. Um, you need to heal her. Yeah, I know. They're all picking on him, her now. Okay. What? What? I sometimes wonder. All right, come on. There, okay. Now, um, Can we do this again over here on them? Okay, that was nice. Um, take my... Get that one out of the way. He's gonna die again. She's gonna die. Oh my god. Um... Oh, of course. Come on, no. Yep, she died. All right. You don't have enough for any more, but you can do shock. Okay, who is... This one is about ready to go. That one's done. Okay. And... That one... What is this? Ensnared. She has her own health, and then you can do all right. Get up here and do ruin. All right, that'll be nice. Oh my god, this is a tough one. And where the, where are some more of these coming from? Hmm. That one's done. That one's done. goodness that one was bad oh I leveled up thank god the big boundary slimes have been destroyed you are confident that your workers can rid this boundary of any pests that remain soon your colonies will have another resource of precious Utikish iron oh that one was nasty Ooh, nasty nasty so they didn't come back or well, I think they did actually but All right, I need to go back and heal myself before I go wandering around anywhere. So let's do that, and I'll let him know. Okay. W is a world map. Okay. Haven. Oops, I don't want to go to Haven. I want to go to, um, not there. Ah, here, right? Yep, that's where I want to go. Okay. So now we all leveled up too. So, so culture, I already did Haven's Might and I did Haven Command as a passive ability. And then this one is Haven's Mastery, gain new ability, properly heals and cures all allies within six bases. I think I need to have more than one healer on me. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that um, for her. Oops. For her, um, she can do other stuff now. I mean, we can also do more than just combat, but she is a combat, so let's work on that for now. Uh, shield, so your next attack with your weapon, melee, or will do 20% much damage and make your foe vulnerable, increasing your damage to it. This was a passable and terrifying scream. It terrifies all enemies near you, causing them to flee. Oh, that's a whole different type of... Okay, it's not a passive. Um, which one do I need to... Brutal blow... Blinding blow. At least two. A, weakens, a level two weakens your enemy for three more turns. Um, bull rush charges a full, strike it and stuns it. Hmm. Plunge in succession, next attack with your weapon, weaken and confuse your foe. Well, slow, weaken. That's a pretty good one. Let's go ahead and do that one. Um, and then her. She. What kind of magic does she need? Um, brawl power increases your maximum energy by one per five character levels. Yeah, I think that's probably kind of necessary. Call bones, weakness, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do that for her. And then support. This is a healing wave. This is disruption. Remove six turns of blessings. Haste, bless from the enemy target. That's kind of cool. Um, passive ability, always active. Haste you by 10%. Yep, let's do that. I will always go for the active abilities if I can. Cool. Um, so back we go. To the world map. Back to up here. Yes, alright. Alright, so I didn't finish going through all this yet, so let me do that. I'm sure there's stuff up here. Oh, so there's there's people in here already. I didn't even tell her. Nothing here. I'm looking for boxes or... There we go. Way down, maybe. Okay, Quicksilver. Yeah, Opal Symbol. Uh, maximum health. Hmm... Uh, physical armor. I think I'm going to do the maximum health. And then we got silver bar and silver bar. Alright. <clears throat> no, we don't have to go out that way. Let's go over here. Oh, that's why there's a door. We know there's a building down here. Well, I suppose we should go tell her. Is she still up here or not? Or is she moving around now? Alright. Uh, your warehouse is... Okay. Um, the boundary is clear. We are we are non-workers. The Utikish made the finest iron in the known lands. Our clan chief asked for volunteers to help the clan. We came. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I told you it was clear. Um... Uh, it didn't do anything. Okay, do you need more assistance? She shakes her head. We have a job. We will do it. So, um, it's in Fontan Tom. Tell me about yourself. Okay, what about the... Oh, no, I can get into it. Okay. Iron bar, iron bar. All right. So, I got my first foundry open. And we need to get into this one. I think that's all then. Because there wasn't anything up here. No. Okay. So what's in here? Well, they moved into it. So I guess it's not... There wasn't any pests. Which I thought there would be. Maybe. Looks... 
kitchen. These are all Udikish workers. Thought there would have been something in here. Hmm. Guess I just got lucky went on the right one the first time. I don't see any boxes anywhere. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, so it looks like we're pretty much done. Let's go back to, um, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go back to Fort Mock, because I have to report that to, um, who was it, uh, who was it to? Um, Clyde's request. Okay, yep, I need to go to her, tell her. Come on, move, move, move. Come on, move. Where are you at? There she is. Um, I cleared the pests out of Boundary Clive. She nods. Our scouts saw. I have already put workers there, Utikish and Havernite. There is a gr good supply of ore already there, abandoned when we fled this fort. We will have more iron for you. Um, how else can I make this fort stronger? There is another mine north of here. It is ours, bought long ago by Haven's traders. Again, we need to reclaim it. It is a proper iron mine. Shafts in the ground, ready for our miners. It is called the Shadow Mine, and alas, it is a tad haunted. The Shadow Mine? Odd name. But this whole land is haunted. Ha has been since recorded memory. Shades and spirits in the mist. Some of them hide in that mine. You think it is haunted now? So our scouts say they didn't get 30 feet inside before they saw a ghost. It shrieked at them and they ran. Clearing out that mine takes someone of your skills. Unhaunted and we can work it for iron for you. The land is cursed. Might I lift that curse? That is a big, big job. Far beyond what we have the power for. Maybe it is not even possible. Maybe that is just the essence of the swamp and we must endure it. Just ghosts everywhere, driving the Utikish mad and taking up space in our minds. Okay, um, okay. So I got another quest. What kind of resources do I have now? Um... I don't know if I can build anymore or not. Do I dare? I'm gonna buy something. Um, arcane weapon. Do I want a better weapon? Arcane dagger. Tier one arcane gear, not enough magic sp spell. Well, this is for magic? Um, not enough magic skills to use. So these are for my, for like them. Twenty percent to critical chance. Uh, fifteen to twenty-three. Hers is twelve to twenty-two. Weakness for two turns. Hmm. Arcane dagger or huh? Hmm, hmm, hmm. So, do we have anything to augment? Oh, sorry about that. Um, I don't think I picked up anything per se. Speed bonus. Nothing on you. Oh, I was gonna sell this, wasn't I? Leather armor. I thought I did. Cause she's got that other one that is better. Um, is this better? Another fish on um, poison resistance. It's got augmentation on it though. Okay, so I need to aug I have to unaugment it. That's what I um that's what I meant to do. Okay. This will cost gold. Yes, it will. Okay. So 
So without it, she loses speed penalty. Oh, she didn't have a. She had a speed penalty on it. That's right. So then this one can be added to that. No, it doesn't have a. Doesn't have. Okay. No. 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 Let's see. She has got um, mental resist. Mm, and we also have this battle tour. That's a necklace. Does everybody have a necklace? She doesn't. Okay. Let's give that to her. Okay. Um, you also have Inspiring Cry. You just end up with so much stuff you just can't use it all. Um, this and the ins uh, Inspiring Cry is supposed to actually have more... See, I have Hit Chance. I want the Hit Chance. And he's got, she's got something else. Um, okay, we need to sell that. Get that out of here. Um, she's got 10% to hit chance. She has, I'm sorry. This actually should be backwards. She should have that one. And she should have this one. Okay. And she's got 10% of healing bonus, which I think she needs that more than anything else. Um let's put this down here and sell that. It's all this stuff. I hate it because it's like 26 gold. I don't know. Do I? Do I or do not? Hmm. Um. Yeah, this is all stuff you just have to figure out. But it really matters. Um. To make runes. So we now have cheap shot. That goes to weapon, but I don't have any weapons. Curse Duration, Shock Rune, Magical Damage, Strength Rune, mm, Augments, 5% of Magical Evasion, Physical Evasion, Curse Resistance, Speed Bonus, which I already have. Hmm. So can I now... I did make... Um, all right, let's get rid of him. Yes. So let's... Um, what is this? Um, is it? There, I think it was a male. That's why I was getting confused, because it was a male. Okay, now it's a female. Oh, God. Because Terrence can be a boy. I can be either a girl or a boy. I mean, it's, you know. There. That's better. That's better. Now I won't get so, I won't get so confused. But, okay, so now I can add an Ukish. So they have... Um, I can do, I'm going to go with Lurga, and the face is going to be no, yeah, he's going to be, he's going to be, how 
come your hair isn't, oh, I guess you can't have silver hair when, when you're in Ukadish. Okay, so we're going to give you, um, no, I'll just take you and get you bald. Um, oh, here's the hair color. That's what I wanted. Okay. All right. And extra details. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So what does he, but I can't add him. Hmm. But at least he's in Ukitish, but what kind of does he do? Oh, there he goes. No, no, I still can't add him. Hmm. Why not? Hmm, hmm, hmm. No. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's get out of here and get wandering around and spending too much time doing shit and... Alright, I could have just went out any door, I guess. But at least now this board is making money. Okay, so, map. I still want to get down here. So we have Reclaiming the Ukich. I think I need to go back and speak to somebody about that. Um, take over the this area to improve resource income. Is that the mine? No, the shadow mine is up here. So that's just right down? Oh, it's just right up from the boundary. Okay. I still want to come down here, though. I think I'm better. I think I want to do that. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, it took me right back into it. Uh, okay. Come on. Down over here. Oh, come on. Really? Just move! And then when I come back, I will do some more building. All right. Is this where I was at? Yes, this is where I was at. Okay. So, is there anybody in this house? No. Nope. Okay. I want. I'm curious to see what's going on down here. As you travel south, you find that amazingly, the swamps of the Ukit are becoming even creepier. Okay. All right. All right. So, so I got that again. Why? Shall we stop in here and, and pay a visit? At the end of this path, looking out over the water, you see a tall tower. It is beautiful. It seems to gleam. The door at its base beckons you. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and enter the tower. You walk toward the tower. Then you find that it is a mirage. It vanishes without a trace. You hear a snarl behind you. Something has emerged from the woods. Okay. So it was a trap. Oh. These are huge. Oh, these are giant spiders or recluses. Okay, um, then we're going to go ahead and do this. Yep. Haste, everybody. And then you are going to... You really don't have any more skills other than that. So everyone's already speeded up. We're just going to go after this big boy. And you're going to put fire on everybody's ass. Um, at least these three. Nice. Um, and do you knock back? Boom! That also then ensnares, ensnares them. And you are going to do... Okay. Let's see, which one is damaged the most? Oh, I can't. Am I too close to it? I am. Let's go back one. Okay. Yeah, quit biting on me. Spider bites! Um, how will this way? Should take out a couple of them. It did. Took out one or two. Okay. And you are going to do this. Slowed. Okay, I'm going to do my whirlwind. Nice. You're going to go after this one. That one's gone. Go after this one again. Go after that. That one's gone. Nice. 
guys. Got rid of them. You clean the greenish bug goo off your weapons and try to figure out where these creatures came from. You find nothing of interest. Hmm. Okay. So you know it's going to be down here. It's got to be something from down here. In this icky little walkthrough. All these bones. Come on. As you walk through this narrow passage, a creature rises up out of the mud. It is a serpent, 30 feet long, wow, with an intelligent and malevolent face, a naga, one of the unique and vicious perils of these lands. She snarls at you, swaying from side to side. The motion is hypnotic. You have to bite the inside of your cheek to maintain your focus. Hello, Ma naga. Hello, this pass is mine. To advance, you must get through me. What lies ahead? The spirit, the spirits of Sacramentum, the deep spirits, but they don't deal with your kind. Not unless you prove yourself. Mm. I don't want to have to kill you. It is all right. You can't. You are too weak. I can see it plainly, little princess. All right, let's do it. You charge the Naga, hoping to destroy her before she can take control of your mind. When you get close, bones erupt out of the mud. Now a line of skeletons stands between you and her. <laughs> of course! What did you expect? And then... Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and get you cured. And you are going to do this. Okay. Boy, that just takes all my energy doing that crap. All right. And um, do this and that and shoot it. Ensnared. Okay. We're all going to be poisoned now. All right. I don't think I want you coming in. I, I. What is your, what are, is your, 257. Hmm, okay. Let's see here. Let's go after that one. We're going to keep going after the big one. And you are going to, I don't, I want him to come closer. So, um, stun it. Okay. Here you are. That's what I was waiting for you. Go ahead and put fire on your ass. Okay. Nice. All right. Where are we at now? We're on him or her. I'm sorry. It's a girl. See, it's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. Who do you need to heal? Um. Her. All right. What is that? Um, haste, silence, blessing. What is that they just did? Silence, mental attack. Turns are meaning too. This character can only use basic attacks in items in combat. No abilities can be used. That's okay. So we're coming after you anyway. Mm-hmm. And... Okay. All right. You're basically just going to be for healing people right now, and that's going to be her, going to be me. Okay. All right. Oops, sorry. My hand moved and everything moved with it. I can do... Oh, that's, I took away all my... That's where I used everything, didn't I? Um, okay, to this, that, and too bad you don't have it. Too bad you don't have that ability. You can now do fire 
uh, not on fire, but okay. Only took out one. It's just exciting. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Just silenced her again. Okay, now it's me. That one's done. Okay. She doesn't have much left. Let's see, can we get rid of this one? Yep, that one's gone. Oh, he's almost dead. Or she. I should just put it as a guy and say, hmm. Okay. Um. That one's done. All right. You have got to, what do you have here? You have, um, uh, Fixing Valley's Waste for Zone, um, Vibes, okay. But you do have this too, no, you have Wave, the Wave. Okay. All right, I'm on. Even Malone. Um, you're done. You're not any good if I don't have him. Actually, I should have killed her, healed myself, I guess. Um, okay. Who is that? Oh, it's a skeleton, I guess. Okay. Um, are we getting close? Eighty four left. She has one of hers still. Let's take that. Um, Okay. You do have shock. Okay. You have no health left or no nothing left here. So you're more or less dead. Okay. Almost dead. Do I? And I've used up all my. No, it went right by me, didn't it? Um, it did. Hmm. Okay. This was a toughie. I guess I shouldn't have come down this way. I want to get rid of that damn <laughs> thing. Oh, there I go. Somebody went. Oh, it was her. It was Terrence. 11 points, 11 points left. Now nah, you're done. <clears throat> now I'm dead. <laughs> That's fine. Only got one left here. My goodness. The Naga and its bony pets have been destroyed. You search in the sand and bones of its lair, but you find nothing of value. At least the pass ahead is not open to you. Okay, that was a little icky. So, uh, you know what I'm doing? Oh, I keep doing the wrong. Okay, I'm going back to the fort. Yes. So I have to heal up. Oh my goodness, that was... Pretty nasty. Pretty, pretty, pretty nasty. All right. And there is nothing on the rule map for this. I mean, I can't get to there. I have to actually walk down there, which is not that far. So let's just go ahead and do it. 
We got rid of the Naga. Let's see what else is in here. All right, we're coming to knock at the door. You have discovered Refuge of the Finn. Oh, wasn't this one of our quests? Mm, the Day Sage. Um, he was struggling to do what keep he. Okay, no, that's not. It. Um, that's the four Jeremiah. The yeah, he's supposed to be. He became lost on the way to Fort Mock. Chief Cape asked you to find him. He's probably wandering around somewhere near the fort. I haven't found him yet. Drake in the Finn. Is this it? There is a Drake in the haunted Finn north of... No, it's not. Mm-mm. Because I'm south. The Mist of Maze. Oh, uh, should buy the Mist of Maze an intensely haunted place northwest of her town. That's not it either. Okay. Well, we'll see what it is. <clears throat> Refuge of the Finn. Interesting. You enter a lovely courtyard open to the sun. Local plants have been planted in an aesthetic arrangement. It's quiet and peaceful. Passages lead into the hill in three directions from here. A sign ahead identifies its places belonging to the Nessie. Intriguing. Yeah, that's what those people had told us about Nessie. Private. There is an imposing heavy door set off to the side in this hallway. It's not dusty or cobwebby. Someone must come back here often. However, the door is securely locked. As you try to open it, you get a deep, sickening sensation in your stomach. You find yourself unable to keep touching it. Okay. So I suppose I just got myself sick or something. Oh, there's a pedestal here with something on it. Interesting. By this tranquil pool, you find a pe pedestal covered with metal... Tokens, like coins, it's not a treasure. It looks like a puzzle of some sort. When you get close, the coins rearrange themselves, ready to amuse you. And who are you up there? We have what? Dreams are in the West Wing. When you, ha when you get a good look at the person ahead, you are startled. It looks human, sane. It looks human, sure, but with white hair and gray skin. Smooth, unblemished, soft gray skin. The person smiles, waiting for you, and seemingly friendly. This must be one of the Nessie? It is a pity Dilly isn't here. Meeting a person so strange and alien would be utterly entertaining to her. Would it now? Hmm. Do I dare? <clears throat> Okay, enchanted coin board. Oh, okay, that's how you move it. It's not moving though. Where is it supposed to get to? I don't know. Or am I just supposed to collect everything? Ah, okay. Now I know what it does. Okay, you have to... You have to, um... Mm-hmm. Okay. Nope, I just got myself in a... Because I can't go anywhere now. Yep, I know what it does. Okay. I'm sure there'll be a reward if I figure it out, but that's something I might do on my own. You smell ozone and hear a familiar humming, crackling noise. You are near magical portals, similar to the one that dumped you on this miserable continent. For a moment, you wonder if the magic of this place can send you home. Probably not. Why would something... Fortune that ever happened to you. Oh, what a whiny little bitch she is. Whiny little bitch. These are doors. Can't get through. I see that. I, I run the portal. We're here to serve. 
Oh, the sign says to the aerial woods, and this one says to the vole. Interesting. Hmm. Gall. Gall? A man sits waiting for you. He sips wine from a mug and rises to meet you. He doesn't kneel. Greetings, princess. I am Gaal. Hmm. Greetings. Gaal smiles. You have won your way into a refuge. One is several we Nessie keep. Hmm. You know I am a princess. Of course. Have a night. We Nessie are only... Can only earn our keep by serving. Thus we have to know all we can about our clientele, your profession, your desires. And now you are here. We are so pleased. Let us begin to help you. Hmm. Who are the Nessie? There are few of us. Outcasts and hermits. Members of a private clique? Is that the word? We live in remote hermitages and low places. We know a little magic. We sell our skills like hedge whip mages to earn what we need to live. Hmm. And where did the Nessie come from? Oh, I don't know. We have been around for a very long time. Longer than people remember. Hmm. I want to know more about you. He smiles sadly and pats your arm. Oh dear, such anxiety, such a reluctance to ever stop working. Please, let us serve you. We'll free your mind of such worries. Do you have a homeland? No, we occupy low and remote places. There we offer our magic to earn our keep. We have our powers, but we are humble and private. We don't like to talk about ourselves. What do you think of Haven? Ah, Haven, we find you arrogant, demanding, not respectful of privacy. Bullies sent by a tyrannical queen. Hmm. You want to discuss politics? He thinks, I, I am sorry. We spend too much time isolated. It makes us forget our fact, our tact. Let's forget politics. Let us serve you. Hmm. What services do you offer? We have two unique services here. We offer travel and we offer dreams. You can step a thousand miles in a moment or you can step into a new untangled world in an instant. I operate the portals. For ten pieces of gold, I can send you to the bowl or the aerial woods in a moment. Hmm. You sell dreams? Yes, but I am not the saleswoman. Go to Costell in the West Wing. She is grumpy, but she would love to help you. I don't need your services right now. Anything else then? That is all I need. Then I hope that you will remember the Nessie in the future when you need peace or nourishment for the spirit. Safe travels to you. Okay, so this is a way to teleport to other areas. Okay, and is this going to be locked? Rest in dreams. Okay. You enter a lovely inn buried under a hill. It is actually clean. The cleanest place you have found in the Ukat. You smell wine and fresh, rich stew. The tables are set for customers. Yet there are no customers. It is eerily quiet and still. The innkeeper watches you from behind the counter to the north. Well, yeah, there wouldn't be any customers because I had to beat that damn snake to even get in here. Right? No, I'm sorry. What am I doing? What does three do? I don't know. Um... Costell. So this is Costell. Where does all this go? These must be rooms for sleeping. Hmm. It's huge. The door is locked and you don't have the key. Uh, figured. I'm sure all these will be the same way. The door is locked and you don't have the key. Yep. So let's talk to Costell. Well, actually... Yeah, I want to finish off this episode with this. This Nessie wipes her... This Nessie wipes down a rough wood counter with a square of white cloth. She grimaces when you approach. Traveler, I am Costell. The Nessie welcome you. <clears throat> we will satisfy your physical needs with food and drink. We will satisfy your spirit with dreams that amuse and instruct. What food do you have? The stew is done and ready. You can have a bowl. We also have water or wine. We don't send travelers out onto the road hungry or parched. There will be no charge for a substance. You are a very special guest. Mm. Well, I'll have some water. 
Castell says, We Nessie serve even the humblest of tastes. She gives you a mug of water. It is clear and refreshing. She watches silently as you drink. Hmm, I just was wondering if it was poisoned or anything, you know. Well, I'll take some of the stew. She ladles you up a big steaming bowl of stew. It is made from vegetables and big chunks of fresh game. Simple food, but moist, but most satisfying. Castell watches you silently while you gobble it down. Um, I am content. I am pleased. So, where are you from? She immediately becomes agitated. I am Inessi. We are everywhere and nowhere. We are also private. But I want to know more about your kind. Ah, I do not chatter. I just run this in. If you want chatter, talk to Gahal. He has the time to waste. Hmm. You sell dreams. We sell a room to rest in. Once there, you may find that the atmosphere here is conducive to particularly deep and rich dreams. A room is but 30 coins. A high price for an inn, yes, but we get no complaints. Hmm. What will I experience? I can't say. They will be your dreams, a product of your memories and your experiences. Big, yes, I admit. However, as I said, we get no complaints. Um... Well, I do want to do this dream, you know. I think almost everyone probably does that plays this game. That's the whole thing. Um, well, it doesn't say not yours on it, so I'm taking it. I'm taking it! Um, let's look down here first. I do want to do a dream. That's all it is. It's just a pentagram. Hmm... I'm going to go ahead and save. Uh, you saw dreams. Sure. Um, I'll try a dream. She takes your coins, counts them, and nods. I will unlock one of your rooms for you. She leaves the main hall for a minute. I have unlocked room one for you. Enjoy your rest and the visions that come. Please be sure to rest before you leave the refuge. Otherwise, I will need to rent your room to another visitor. Hmm. So room one. I assume it's this one. Yep, it's this one. You enter the inn's room. It is clean, tastefully appointed, warm and comfortable, yet you can't feel at peace. Something is off. There is a strange energy in the air. It grates on you. A bit, a bad, a bit is waiting for you. So, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, I got experience. Um, okay. Thirty. I started with 32 and I'm 37, 20, 21, 8, 7. I lost that, um, but I made money. So what happened to me? You fall asleep the moment your head hit the pillow. You fell asleep the minute that your head hit the pillow. You had a long restful sleep. Then you woke up. As you lay in bed, your head was full of jumbles of random thoughts. You rose. You feel deeply content, utterly peaceful. Yet you can't remember what happened. Well, that's not good. So I got experienced for doing this. Um... As you walk away from the bed, the bits of thoughts in your head start to clump together. You tease out a few memories of your night of dreams. It's a simple vision. You are in a city. It's a heaven night city. You don't recognize it, but it's clearly where you are. Why were you there? Hmm. You remember so little. You remember looking at things. You had a heavy bag of gold at your belt. You were here to acquire. You were here to acquire art, food, luxury, people. You looked at it all. Visions in a sequence in your head. It could all be yours in an instant. That is what gold means. You bought something. A lot of somethings. It was you. What did you buy? You can't remember. Try as you might. Okay. So is she going to say something now to us? Um. Nope. So is this going to affect me? I don't know. That is interesting. But we have a place now to go into Vol and um, interesting indeed. Hmm. So how is that dream going to affect us? I don't know.
But I mean, I don't feel like we're wandering around aimlessly like those other people were, you know? Very strange indeed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. And when we come back, we are going to be going after that other... Um, we're going to be going after this other one up here, the Shadow Mine. And we still have to take over the Seven Oaks Mine, too. So that's on my to-do list also. If I remember right, I think that one was Haunted. Um, yeah, the Mist Maze. There's the Mist Maze. I wonder if I should report back to Haven and talk to um, Miranda there to let her know. Because I think, isn't that what this one... Uh, quest. Anyway, I'll get that figured out. If you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.